Good morning. My name is Gabriel Pinder. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Neolithium. Today, we're going to talk about the evaporation pond system that we have designed for the 3Q project in Argentina. In what it is known as the lithium triangle in between Chile, Argentina and Bolivia, there are four mines in operation and one in construction. SQM and Albermel share the Salar de Atacama in Chile, while Oro Cobre is in Olaroz and Livent in Hombre Muerto in Argentina. Cauchari is now under construction and is the fifth project in the region. Of the five mines mentioned, four of them utilize the traditional evaporation process. But what is exactly a traditional evaporation process? Um, what are the wells? How do they work? Um, why do we concentrate lithium in a pond? This is what we're going to explain following. In this satellite image, you can see the Atacama Salar in Chile. This is in particular the SQM mine. SQM operates here two mines, a potassium mine and a lithium mine. In fact, the majority of these ponds are dedicated to potassium production. The ponds found in this sector are the ones dedicated to lithium. In fact, the yellow color that you can see in the picture is characteristic from highly concentrated lithium brine. In the image, you will also see a scale representing around five kilometers. And you can see that more or less the lithium ponds occupy five kilometers long. In the same salar, you also have albermel. The lines that you can see here are roads and piping necessary to run the ponds. You can also see in yellow the ponds indicating the presence of highly concentrated lithium brine. This is the image of the Cauchari Salar in Argentina. This, is, this mine is under construction and it also has around 5 kilometers long. This last image shows us the Olaros Salar, also in Argentina, from the company Oro Cobre, and the respective roads and distribution piping that leads to the ponds. It all starts here, in this well. This is what we call a production well. This well is around 100 meters deep and contains a submersible pump, similar to the ones we use for irrigation in a farm. These pumps are special. They are designed to pump brine, which weighs up to 20% more than fresh water. While it looks transparent, it is not really fresh water. It is highly concentrated brine, which you see there. And this well is one of the most productive wells in Argentina and in the world, with almost 100 liters per second coming out of this pipe to fill the ponds. And here you see, at the bottom of the image, the pipes transporting the brine to the ponds. These are the pilot evaporation ponds. They also have different colors because they show the elements that are concentrating and precipitating. They are built in the middle of the salar. The objective of the pilot evaporation ponds is to be able to test the process at a smaller scale than the future production. This is required to go from a theoretical design to a practical design, to reproduce and test the full process at a smaller scale. So, the first pond gathers the brine from the extraction wells and starts the evaporation process. The second pond starts precipitating sodium chloride and potassium chloride. Once the liquid has lost sodium chloride and potassium chloride, we are left with calcium chloride. This is a unique chemical characteristic of the 3Q salar. The calcium chloride is then separated from the brine through this equipment. In this way, we are left with lithium-rich brine, which we collect in much smaller ponds, Note the traditional yellow color, also representing the high concentration, as previously shown in some of the mines in production today. These are the calcium chloride crystals that I mentioned before, being separated from the liquid. After we separate the calcium chloride, we transport the concentrated brine in trucks to the production plant. This pilot pond system has a scale of 1 in 600. That, th that is, 600 times as smaller than the final production size. Once the project is built, it will look like this. It will be several kilometers long and the ponds will be located in the center, in the heart of the salar, and where the evaporation will do its job, concentrating the product naturally with the energy of the sun. This is the way brine mines operate. All our evaporation system today, built on a small scale, can be seen here, as it will be in the future in its final production stage.